Morning, it's your boy Donna. We're back with another lit video. Right now, I kind of got a little bored, so I decided to say, let me make a little video, just chatting. Um, honestly, I've been going through a lot, but not too much. Like it's like, oh, like I can't express it. Like I'm afraid of talking about it. Um, I'm starting to realize my value of myself. This is 2021, and we're gonna talk about a topic that y'all gonna be fascinated about. I'm quickly worrying about my own feelings and not realizing that. Does anybody even realize that down days, do you even wanna be a husband material? Do you even want to have the marriage? Nowadays, I pick it in the relationship that I get into, people don't even want. So like at this point, I am gonna find what I want and I think I want an area that I wanted to make sure that I'm happy and satisfied just as well as the same person. I want them to be equal as what I am. I'm living in a world that I have all this that I'm trying to build at the same time and I still dance, I still try to write in my own books. You know, you gotta get creative sometimes. As a husband, I am really like everything that they're looking for. I ought to cook clean and I supply with love. But right now at this stage, and as me being 31, um, I personally feel... So here we are, like, it is so beautiful though. Nature and life are some things. Wisdom is a really, really beautiful thing. If I can have someone that can actually give me a lot of beautiful things in the morning, tell me how much they love me, and just smile every day, I can take that, I'll be good. But for me, it is more to me, I'm human. I, I I deserve love. I deserve passion. Um, I deserve everything. Obviously, sex. But at this timing right now, I'm really like manifesting to a a um happiness. I am finding my inner peace. You can't find inner peace by looking for someone else. You have to find it first for yourself. You have to love yourself first before you can love someone else. So I'm chosen to love myself in 2021. And then eventually down the line, I will gain trust in loving someone else. And why I say the reason why of that. So it's story time now. I cannot believe this. I have been going through a really, really tough time of like really trying to stay focused on one person. And this is really true, not saying like, oh, you go most of you going out there, you cheating and you doing all that type of stuff. It's just, when I start to talk to someone and they don't give me what I'm satisfied for, I move on. And I have to learn that. And as, like I said, it's me being 31 now, you're gonna have a mindset of yourself like, when you get older, you're gonna be like, okay, these are things that I know from right from wrong. I don't need my mom and my dad explaining that to me. I've learned it, you know? So like, I'm just living in a life that like, I'm happy. Like, I don't have to have someone define me. I'm defining myself because when it's time for me to build that marriage, and especially as me talking about, I want to be with another male. When I build that marriage, I just want my marriage to be happy and loved. I want my vows to be committed. I want it to be united because I have a way that I have my own unique ways that I talk to my person that I love. And that's the way how I express myself. As I look at myself, I'm like, you're a smart boy. What the fuck are you thinking? Excuse my language. This is my show. I'm over here like really exaggerating, crying over situations that I had to build. And I, and, I, and I pray to God, I was like, God, can you give me my call? What is, what is my world purpose? And then I found it out. It was really, it was really deep. Like my whole purpose is on earth was finding that area that no one can believe of right now and I know someone might be going through it you might be going through depression you might be going through anxiety you might be going through so much things but I found that I can help others I found that I can treat others better like the way how I want to be treated I've treated others the same way how I've been treated but I've learned that I have to treat others like really how I want to be treated. So that means I have to take a step up 10 times more to show people they're valuable. But it's not just that, it's just the sadness of how people can look at you and they can treat you like you're nothing because of what you are. And I don't think that's not this point of my staging, but I'm actually like satisfied. Pretty much I'm right at the stage that I wish I can just express myself and I express for others thinking the results 
of their reactions. I have my own reactions. I have my own ways how I feel. I have my own spirit. Like I'm proud of myself. Like I'm really like out here trying to make a living out of myself. And I don't have time for that. I don't have time for the bullshit is what I'm trying to say. Not for myself, it's just for the bullshit. Because I have dealt with so many things in my surroundings that I was uncomfortable for, but at the same time, I have to express myself. I have to release things. I have to understand the value of things. I went through a whole day today afraid of talking to someone and I don't even know why. And then I just realized to myself, it's like, you know what? You're just psyching yourself out. And it was really just friendship. Like I really want friends. I couldn't I couldn't value the, the, to find a friend at work because I was so afraid. But I do have friends at work, you know, but this particular person, I just like, okay, let me see if that could have worked out. But I had to psych myself out and move away from that person. But not to bring that conversation into this shit. I've learned out of that. What I've learned was damn Darno, you really you really like slacking you need to pick yourself up so at work i'm just working 10 times harder pushing looking for a second job honestly i've been going to school i've been just just dancing in the studio i've been showing you guys the same things online but i feel like in reality i need more i'm not saying that i'm crying for help i'm just saying i need more and so i i just have that good feeling that there's going to be more to it you're going to be excited because i have to express myself i have to be my uniqueness like i think i'm like right now i'm just like lost like but i'm going to show you guys because these footages have to be there have to be made they have to be made but i'm not like lost over like the world or over any guy i'm lost it's because i'm being found you get what i mean like i'm lost because i'm being found that's why i said you got to hear me out so now when we go into the stages of me talking i can express myself because i know myself um, I can talk about God. I can talk about my Lord above because he gave me this power. You know, people be afraid to talk about him. And I've learned that I can do that, you know, and there's nothing wrong with it. At this point, I'm like, you got to do it. You got to go for it. Write down what you want. Make a list for yourself. If that make it better, put it on your mirror if they make it better. Just remind yourself constantly, you're trustworthy. You're lovable. You're loyal. Your vows is gonna be viable when you get married. I think about things like that because I want to make sure that I'm happy in my state and mindset. So yeah, I'm actually um, living in a stating moment. And what I mean when I say stating moment is because I have a state of grace of a heart that I'm valuable and I'm taking the treasures of it. And when I move forward, it's going to express and it when, it's like a flower, a flower is going to blossom out and it's going to explode. But when it explodes, it's going to explode beautiful. And right now I'm just looking for a purpose. And one of them was I thought that it was like love was going to conquer it. But you can find love from so many different things you never know. Of. I want to know what is like the bad side about you i get i i am i'm human i get cranky <laughs> i deserve a lot of things that i that a human would want to deserve um but honestly i'm not like really a naggy person like you would probably know what i would love the most in that moment you'd be like i know what you probably won't like just take in all of these natural videos too as well like love is a big big commitment like I'm gonna show you guys um, what I mean you never know who loves you or want to value you because you're going through a stage in life that it's your call it's your purpose it's your reasons and the, the most thing that I don't like about other significant people that is they can take away that away from you because they see your happiness with someone else and by the blink of an eye that person can be gone and loving someone else so you have to remember to keep that energy for that loveness just remember there's reasons for reasons and there are purposes for purposes calls um right now tomorrow i'm gonna make it a better day and if you see this just know that you're loved and i hope more 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 
more of it comes and plus more fortunes. I hope everything in life values you and I hope you have everything that you deserve because just as well as me as Darnell live in this world, I know you deserve to as well. Until next time you guys.